Transhumanism is coming to the UK. You have this story in the media. An MP called Jamie Wallace has come out as trans and he has had a standing ovation in Parliament from all parties. So all the parties in Parliament back this agenda. Ruling Chamber, one parliamentarian's personal story managed to unite the parties. That uh, was Jamie Wallace, a Conservative who as well as speaking out about being a victim of rape and blackmail has announced that he is trans, the first UK MP to do so. Even before PMQ's colleagues congratulated him with handshakes and saps on the back, later party leaders added their praise. I know uh, that the House stands uh, with you and will give you the support that you need to, lead, to live freely as yourself. Can I start by joining the Prime Minister in his remarks in relation to the Honourable Member for Bridgend? It's good to see the member for Bridgend uh, in the chamber this afternoon. I commend them. So all the Freemasons from each political party were congratulating this MP on becoming trans. Now he is still a man and he uses male pronouns. But he says that he feels secretly inside he feels like a woman. That means he could go into any toilet, female toilet, just because he feels like a woman. But this agenda is about the transhuman agenda. And the UK are going to push this agenda, I think, faster than anybody else. And you are going to have transhumans in the UK. And they are going to bring in legislation that makes it legal for you to become a transhuman and not only will people mix with technology but you could even get hybrids human technology hybrids and maybe even human alien hybrids legalized in British law and if people think my channel is crazy it is nothing compared to what is going to go on in the world. So all these MPs were congratulating this man on becoming trans. Let's have a look at Jamie Wallace. He was elected in 2019. He has actually fled the scene of an accident in his past. He was also done for for driving recklessly and he owned a dating company which which was called which was a sugar daddy dating website which offered students financial rela relationships with wealthy sponsors to a kind of prostitution he was a co-owner of a sugar daddy dating website. He was also a member of a company which was banned by the Ministry of Justice. Some kind of insurance company. And yet this man has been applauded in the Houses of Parliament just because he says that he secretly feels like a woman. What this really is about is the transhuman agenda and they are going to put, defend the rights of people who want to become transhuman. And this makes sense of all the agendas that are going on with what people have been taking, the reduction in the number of cows which they need and their mission is to become transhuman. You are going to have transhumans in the UK very soon. Now what is very interesting is that this man Jamie Wallace he studied astrobiology and he had and he was awarded a doctorate at Cardiff University focusing on 
Cometary panspermia. Cometary panspermia is that life came from comets from space to Earth. Also, I have been going on about how they plan to use a meteor strike from the debris of a comet. So they're going to use a man-made event which they're going to sell as being meteors from a comet hitting the earth to reduce the number of cows on earth. So he worked on this on this doctorate which is based on evidence for cometary pans pans spermia pans spermia which means life came to earth from space via comets. The fragments of comets when they hit the earth are meteors and when they actually reach the ground they are called meteorites and I've been sh showing in the last couple of years how they've been using predictive programming that fragments of a comet are going to hit the earth and isn't it interesting that he is the first trans MP and he works on an idea of alien life coming to earth via comets and this is about the transhuman agenda and it may even be that humans will not only just mix with technology but actual different species of life on earth and maybe from other planets this is what the British Parliament has just congratulated an MP who has a who has a dubious record and just because he says he feels like he's trans everyone in every political party in Parliament have congratulated him and their intention is to bring in laws that protect the rights of, of trans which really means transhumans. Thank you.